Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Transformers Titan Wars Leader Class Optimus Prime. And after this review, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, as for the figure itself, here he is in his uh, robot mode. Um, as you can see, you got the nice signature Power Master Optimus Prime head sculpt right here. Um, difference is this is actually a headmaster as you can see and here is um his headmaster apex and i like how he looks like orion pax right here this is a pretty nice head sculpt uh the only thing i don't like is how there's this there seems to be a little. Come on, there seems to be a little cut here on his nose, but yeah, oh no, I do like it. Yes, I love these clever leader class head sculpts, which go. On. The head, and there's like a helmet or mask that goes over it, which. I guess they kind of had to do that since these are supposed to be interchangeable with the Voyager class and the Deluxe class headmasters. I mean, bodies. Um, you can see some nice Autobot symbols tampographed on the shoulders. The nice signature Power Master guns on the shoulders. Um, let's see, nice. Um. Nice design for the chest, even though it's not the Power Master. I do like the way the feet are sculpt legs are sculpted. This is the only blue head and legs are the only blue on the figure. Uh, the arm forearms are supposed to be blue. Uh, if you look at the uh, design art online, I mean the drawings, not the stock photos. Um, I'm guessing. For some reason, maybe cost reasons, that these are uh, red. Maybe they're made off the red runner, or partially because it's more or less a heavy retool of the Ultra Magnus. But you don't really, the nice part is you don't really see Ultra Magnus in this figure unless, like, maybe unless you start transforming it. Uh, then you start to see the Ultra Mag that it comes it's a retool or uses the same engineering as Ultra Magnus. But yeah, I do think it's pretty cool. Like the details of the forearms. Don't like how it's hollow here, but that's kind of easy to ignore. Um, yeah, so despite the fact that it's not accurate to the art or maybe even the comics, it does look pretty cool um, in robot mode. And I do still like the paint, uh, the silver here, the blue here blue on the head i just wish there was some blue on the forearms because blue is my favorite color and i think it really needs a balance of red and blue and not have it be predominantly red because i think that red and a red all red color scheme is really more fitting for hot rod than optimus who's supposed to be in the red white and blue american flag colors um Got him holding, like, these two ion blaster-looking things. Um, it only supposed to come with one, but I've got two of this figure, so I just had him, like, dual-wielding these. Uh, I'll bring out the other gun right now. Here's the other weapon. Uh, I don't really like this as much. Hold on. I need this to focus more. No, I'm not really focusing right... Uh, again, as I was going to say, I don't really like it as much as this other gun. Uh, guns are supposed to be, like, long and narrow this way and wide up and down. Not so, but narrow side to side. Narrow side to side. Um, yeah, so I like this much more. It's a much better design. That's why I had him dual-wielding these. But anyways, uh, either way, 
Uh, these are nicely detailed. Um, got some nice molded details right here, which are pretty cool if you can see it. It's not really focusing right. Uh, I'm going to transform him into his vehicle mode. Um, hold on, before I forget, the guns tab into this slot in the arm. Uh, I'm guessing that maybe they didn't bother to do put like tabs in the hands for some reason. Maybe they didn't think it would look good when he's not holding the weapon or when the weapon is out of his hands. Uh, I wouldn't have minded if there were some tabs here though, but anyways, transform him. It's like the Ultra Magnus, or maybe I'm just maybe it's a stretch even maybe it's even a stretch to say it's like the Ultra Magnus because this really is so heavy a retool that you don't really see Ultra Magnus in this figure. I mean, I will acknowledge that the engineering is the same and it, it is a retool, but they really hide the fact that it's a retool of Ultra Magnus very well in this figure. And it's one of the most anticipated figure in the Titan Returns line. And f for good reason this is pretty much right now this will probably be the centerpiece of your titan returns toy line at least till fort max comes out but right now this optimus prime will probably be the centerpiece of your collection well that or blaster i think both are great Of course, uh, Optimus is usually the most popular character, so yeah, definitely will be the center of your Titan Returns. Titan's Return collection before Fort Max. And, um, yeah, have you guys seen Fort Max? I've only seen pictures of it. It was, it looks amazing. I mean, I plan, I know maybe, I know some places have managed to import it or get it early somehow, but I'm not going to pay like 200 bucks to get it early right now. I'm just going to get it. Mine at Comic Con because I got a badge for uh, Comic Con this year. You can always buy that Hasbro toy shop after the convention. Uh, get these feet together. And uh, yeah, Fort Max is also a heavy retool of. Another figure, Metroplex. But I've seen it in some of my, some of my friends' pictures. Ah, looks very cool for having a new tool. Um, now, this, get the arms together. Now, Ultra Magnus had no roof. This one had a roof, has a roof, so you gotta get things to fit right. And you have to like snap the, this hinge together, which is kind of a first. You, you don't expect hinges to be something that are supposed to be snapped in and out. I mean, maybe for the Chinese factory workers when they're building stuff, but not when you're transforming. And now, the weapons are stored on the roof. Oops, hold on. 
Here he is in his um, vehicle mode. Uh, again, uh, really captures that great, uh, almost iconic, although he didn't appear in the cartoon, just the comics, iconic Power Master Prime look. Uh, you may also recognize this as God Gen Right, mainly known as Prime Master Prime from uh, the original Generation 1 comics. I do like how these blasters show up and you can like blast stuff in vehicle mode. Got the classic cab right here. Now, I imagine that maybe if this wasn't based on Ultra Magnus in any way, that this cab would actually transform to its like own little robot and like you could just put it here and the Power Master Prime would be like some kind of super mode for it. But now you just have like the Headmaster sitting in there. I do like the silver right here. Uh, really matches the nice silver on the chest in um, robot mode. Uh, got the signature stripe here. Uh, now I do would like a newer design for Prime's trailer, but this is a G1 toy. That's fine. Um, I do like the molded details right here, right here. So yeah, very it's definitely a modern, nice. Uh, modernized version of Power Master Prime. And I like how the weapons can be stored up here so he could be like blasting stuff in front of him. Uh, looks very cool. And yeah, like the details and the panel lines on the side. Very nicely designed cab. I do like how it's blue right here and you can like probably go down so like you could fit cars inside here which I think is very cool Hold on, just that map back that look together molded details show up nicely on the back in vehicle mode yeah so overall very cool vehicle mode very nice homage to Power Master Prime or God Ginrai or whatever uh, you're more familiar with or prefer or whatever first comes to your mind now to get him into his our battle station mode, which seems to be a lot of, seems to be a thing with a lot of these super Optimus Prime figures. Uh, if you recall, the Armada Optimus Prime had a battle station mode. Uh, Energon, kind of. Cybertron mode. Uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime. Um, kind of, but you'd have to see the cartoon to see him turning his trailer into, like, this, that turret thingy, um, you're supposed to, like, I'm gonna break the hinges apart. This chest needs to go up. If I'm not mistaken... This needs to go down. Uh, do the same on the other side. Okay, now I forget if the cab is supposed to be able to turn like this in the battle station mode. It doesn't really say in the instructions, or maybe you should push it up and in like in robot mode, but uh, I think this is fine. Might make more sense if he's in like a rolling battle station. Um, the weapons. Want this here, and the other turret on the other side, and you put the guns right here, and you have them pointing up, because because otherwise it'd just be pointing at this section, and yeah, that part would be blocking it. And then you have it like right here. And yeah, it looks like these look pretty cool anti-air guns. 
and take the headmast out of here. And yeah, have him sit right here. It's pretty cool. Now the instructions say you can put this turret uh, in this chest piece. Um, thing is, I haven't really figured out how to do that. And I'm afraid to try in this video because I might scratch off that nice silver chrome right here. Um, you need to be careful with this. This can get scratched. You can see it's got... Well, you can, it's nicked a bit right here. Um, I don't think that's really a problem with any particular figure. No one really gets... None of these have really perfect chrome. Um, I bought uh, two, and yeah, the chrome's not perfect on either. But this does get scratched easily so be careful with that um yeah very nice looking battle station mode uh still kind of looks like robot some robot parts like these thighs still show up but besides that if you really want to see it as a battle station mode um yeah this looks like a pretty nice battle station and it more so than not um and remember, this will link with Fort Max, so that will give it uh, more purpose. But so for right now, I'm going to try to show you how to turn back into ro robot mode. It should be relatively simple. This foot in. Wrap this around. Uh, do the same on the other side. Remember, get this in and back into the back part. And you want this spin around first, make it go down. Uh, in case you missed that, it was like this, then you make it go down. Get the, cover it with the chest. I'm kind of glad that this is actually is the chest. You just put this like extra piece on it. It's not like a fake chest or anything. The shoulder guard here. Well, it's kind of nice. That's the these turrets and the guns are interchangeable, interchangeable peg holes, just like the Combiner Wars um, weapons. Yeah, and remember, just put the. Hold on, I need to remember to put the headpiece back. Now. Okay, this head actually does go into the chest. Which is not that common with Titan Returns figures because uh, the heads are usually supposed to come off. Except for the leaders. And yeah, now here is Optimus Prime back in his... um. Robot mode. Uh, overall, very cool. Um, very cool looking repaint. A complete, nicely done overhaul on Ultra Magnus to turn it into Optimus Prime. And like I said, this will probably be the center of your Titan Returns figure collection at least until um, Fort Max comes out, which is pretty. Also, a pretty cool. Uh, overall overhaul of another figure uh another really cool figure metroplex uh robot mode looks very cool very looks a whole lot more like G power master prime than ultra magnus uh transformation um feels good a lot of stuff that um not really that needs to um snap in but yeah, overall, it's kind of fun and um, looks very cool uh, when you get it into vehicle mode. Again, looks more like Power Master Optimus than Ultra Magnus. And 
yeah, cool, very cool looking robot mode, very cool looking vehicle mode with a nice uh, cab and wheels, a nice cab that can turn left and right, and um, yeah, so robot mode, vehicle mode, transformation, nails all those aspects correctly. Um, now before I forget anything, um, to go over the articulation, same as Ultra Magnus, um, 90 degrees, go all the way around, legs go back and forth, this is also 90 degrees. Unfortunately, uh, these figures are loose at the elbow, which is a shame given how uh, tight the blaster figure was all around, and how tight most of the other joints our head goes uh turns to the full 360 but again you're not really gonna get the up and down with these titan returns uh headmaster figures so all in all i do highly recommend this figure it's a great one and if you find one with good elbows you'll be uh very happy with it. Uh, great for Transformers, uh, toy collectors, and kids in general to uh, buy, uh, play with, and collect. And definitely worth your money when you get this leader class toy on toy shelves when he comes out. Uh, well, that's a, that about does it for this review. Uh, please be sure to check out. Um, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um... Also, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash legendantihero, and follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash legendaryantihero, and friend me on Facebook, facebook.com slash legendantihero. Well, that's it for my review. That's it for my review, you guys. Uh, take care. Goodbye.